Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I like to make my homemade chili oil. For the recipe and more details, head over to my blog craftyepicurean.com. Okay, so the main ingredient is obviously oil. I like to use 500 ml of rice bran oil. You can use uh, any other light oil like soybean or canola. Just make sure it's a low flavor oil. And there's 50 grams of dried chili and I'm just going to add some boiling water until they are covered and then set them aside for about 10 minutes to soak and to rehydrate a little bit. The next is the dried herbs. So we've got cardamom, fennel seeds, star anise, black cardamom, cinnamon, bay leaves and black peppercorns. Um, next I'm going to set up is um, our aromatics. So there's three cloves of garlic, four slices of ginger and one sliced yellow or white onion or brown onion. Uh, there's a tablespoon of sugar I've just set aside in a ramekin and I'm also going to add a tablespoon of rice vinegar. So I'll set that aside as well. Uh, the greens are four spring onions, nicely sliced lengthways and a couple of handfuls of fresh coriander. So now I'm going to prepare some of those dried spices or those whole spices. First one I'm going to just split or smash up the black cardamom. It's just so that um, when we go to deep fry this in the oil it'll flavor the oil some more by getting access to the seeds inside the cardamom pod. The star anise I'm just going to uh, break off a few of those points so it can spread around in the oil when it cooks and with the eight green cardamom pods I'm just going to um, gently crush them so this pod split open and the seeds um, split out into the mixture. Just break the cinnamon um, stick in half and here we have the black peppercorns so really I mean you should be using cracked peppercorns, so I'm just going to self-crack them by gently pressing on those black peppercorns with my knife. And here I'm going to grab the uh, chilies which have been soaking for about 10 minutes and just strain them of the oil, I mean the water that they were soaking in. I'm just going to put those in a bowl and then um, we're going to chop them up. So I'm just going to place them on the chopping board. So I'm using some chopsticks here and I like to use a glove to protect my hands so that I don't stain them with chilies and I don't accidentally rub my eyes and get a painful reaction to that. Um, so you want to chop most of them up, but some of them I leave whole because I like having a couple of whole for decoration and to add to the oil at the end. As I'll show you when I um, put the chili oil in a glass jar to store. So I've got a wok here on a high heat and I'm going to add my 500 ml of rice bread oil and then I'm going to heat it up and you know it's hot by adding some chopsticks. I'll zoom in so you can see that the bubbles are forming. When they're rapidly bubbling like that the oil is hot enough. First thing I'm adding is the aromatics so the onion, garlic ginger. Then I'm going to add the fresh greens, the coriander and the spring onions. Just add them all into the wok and I'm just going to deep fry those until they are completely wilted in the soil. These aromatics are just to flavour the oil with those oniony garlic deliciousness. Um, I'm constantly just moving it around so that they don't stick or burn. So as you can see everything's wilted, the onions are slightly browned and I'm just going to use a strainer to strain them out and keep these aside. They're just like deep fried onions so they are actually quite delicious if not terrible for you but still yum. Um, once it's strained the next thing to add is the chilies. Just add them all straight in and again you want to keep moving the um, chilies around so they don't burn. You also want to keep an eye on the heat and make sure um, it doesn't get too hot and burn the chilies because it'll taste really bitter and horrible. 
Um, you want to keep deep frying the chilies until the oil starts to colour. So as you can see I slightly dip my spoon in and see whether it's got a slight red tinge. As it's now got a slight red tinge I add my whole spices which have been crushed and um, smashed up so that they add extra flavour to my chilli oil and they spread around, move them around a little bit and then I'm going to add my sugar, stir that in as well and the next thing is the rice wine vinegar. So that's why it's quite important to have everything ready beforehand so you can just add it to the wok when and as you need to. So now it's all been going quite well. I've set it aside for a while and I've set up a jug with a sieve in it so that I can strain my chilli oil. And I just spoon it in or ladle it in. And then I pop that into a jar. As you can see it's quite cloudy at the moment and I like to add a few of those whole spices back into the chilli oil after I've strained it just to give it a bit of an effect but also so that it can continue to flavour the oil over time. Now it's quite cloudy at the moment as you can see um, but after uh, 24 hours it goes quite clear like this and translucent as everything settles and then I like to decanter it into a smaller jar just for ease of use. So for more information and the recipe head over to my blog craftyepicurean.com and thank you for watching.